Good evening, everyone, and we're just going to get straight to the point, okay? All of this is allegedly, this is high alert, this is where I had to go back and do my due diligence, I got to do some fact check, I got to double check some things, this is going to be like a wait and see situation, okay? So I'm throwing out all the allegedly, I'm throwing out all the disclaimers, this is only for entertainment purposes at its best, okay? Now, if you're not familiar with a blogging site called Lipstick Alley, I want y'all to go and get familiar with them, okay? Go to LipstickAlley.com. They usually are all over social media. They're giving content information on other bloggers, whether you're um, on the lower scale or you're the, on the higher scale, it don't matter. They get the dirt and they try to investigate it. But what they bringing out tonight or what I just saw prior to me going to bed flashed on my uh, social media feed. Yes, it was very explosive. And it kind of coincided with what I brought y'all on Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill. And the whole debauchment, debauchment of a uh, 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 debauchery going on with her daughter, Noel. Yes, we talking about Mike Hill. He over there having a conversation, allegedly, uh, spilling tea with, uh, his, you know, it's an exclusive live interview they did with, you know, the housewives. And, and, and they were breaking tea and, and all of it was just featured on Cynthia Bailey and Kenya and all the comments and abouts and leaking information to the press to kind of tell y'all what's going on or what's going to be happening on season 12. Yeah, he was over there uh, getting tea and dropping tea and pretty much telling Cynthia's storyline is what it was. Okay, but I'm telling, she should have stayed with Peter. She should have stayed with Peter, Peter Punk and Eater, honey, because this might, this might guy over here, she's trying to call herself uh, getting married too. She better pop all her brakes, flat all those tires, get out the vehicle and go get her a new vehicle for herself. Okay. Leave that flat tire mess of a man alone and go get her Lamborghini. Or hell, go back with Peter. At least she knew what kind of cloth he was cut from. But I won't have her too long. Okay. Honey, he did an interview with somebody. I don't know who it was. It might have been an informant that paid him money to leak some of the story that's going out on uh, season 12. But I'm just going to give you a little bit, okay? And if you don't uh, want to take my word for it, go on over there to Lipstick Alley. They have it all in print. But anyway, it goes in to say Mike Hill has a lot to say about Cynthia on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and who is living with and who he's living with right now. Okay. It goes on to say Mike admits that Noel lives with him full time. He actually had just literally left her at home before he came to do the interview. Okay. And it's supposed to be with Bravo, all right. Allegedly now. Let that sink in for a moment. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, he just left her prior to him going to an interview with Bravo or an informant and they were dropping tea on the season 12 episodes coming up and what to look for, okay? Then we go back to the article because we don't let that sink in enough, all right? It says, Noelle lives with a man her mother isn't even married to yet. While her own father lives in California. Now, see, I thought he was up there in New York, is what I thought, where Leon um, was residing. But, you know, maybe he's in LA, LA. I don't know. But they're saying in this little commentary I'm reading from that Leon lives in California. So it, it, it kind of makes you wonder okay, if your dad is living in California, y'all should have a good relationship. Kane ain't been out in the streets. The social media street saying anything different. Why are you living with a man that you don't even know? Your mama probably don't even know. Okay. Or no, even the, uh, half of the family. Because she showed in those uh, Peter's family that was uh, in, what they had went to? Was it Trinidad or uh, Haiti? How they had went somewhere in his homeland and uh, did a trip over there, whatnot. And Cynthia didn't even know his aunt or his uncle. Okay. And she had married. I've uh, been married to uh, Peter for almost a year. Okay, so that tells me Cynthia don't check background when it comes to her men. Okay, but anyway, going back, they're saying, not me, but uh, Lipstick Alice is saying that Leon, uh, Noel's father, lives in California. 
All right. We go and it goes back to the article. It says, besides living with Cynthia's grown daughter while her mother is living on the other coast, which is here, Atlanta. Mike did a whole video telling all that will be going on between Cynthia and him and some of the other women on season 12. See her up, shaking her down, shaking her down. You see what I'm saying? Cynthia, you ought to be whooped up the crack of your ass, okay? But I'm just saying, that's my opinion, okay? Don't wish no harm on you, but just reading this stuff, if it is in fact true, girl, how many men you going to let dupe you? How many men are you going to let? But anyway, moving on back to the article, it says, but first, interesting enough, they start out calling Portia's baby P.J. Williams. What? I, I read the same thing. What What do you mean? On her birth certificate, it don't read McKinley. You mean Pillar Henna is not Pillar Henna McKinley. You trying to tell me Portia got that baby's name in her name and she's sitting up here being finessed by this weed, uh, uh, weed trying to sell uh, some CBD oils for arthritis or any other ailment you may have, girl. What? That I'm, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe. It. I only have no words to express all this tears being poured, and I ain't got no damn cup for it to be running over on. It's just spilling all in my plate. Okay, going back, it says not PJ McKinley. That was kind of weird. Wonder if Dennis or his mother is behind the baby not having his last name. Check it. Get into it. All right. It says, anyway, back to the new man on Real Housewives of Atlanta. That is in the women's business. So you know, we had Peter on so many seasons of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, Mike Hill trying to act like Peter Thomas. Oh, no, we can't have another peach holder that's a man. Okay, we can't. Where's Nene? I need Nene to call this one another itch and, and get him out of female's business because it seems like he's been to do a double take. And we uh -uh, we only had one Peter. Peter is enough. We don't need a second go around of a man getting in women's business and telling them how to conduct themselves. Okay. All right. Moving back on. We says, it, it says, um, Mike says that Portia and Kenya are getting along good. He also says that he's glad Kenya is in Greece with Brooklyn, considering what she is going through right now. He admits to being shocked by the fight at the Marks event, but when he thought back on it, he probably should have saw it coming. He says that Cynthia, Nene, Greg, Eva, Mike, uh, Dennis, and Portia all went to Four Seasons Restaurant after the Mark Kenya fight and discussed it. Mike did not say if Real Housewives of Atlanta filmed it, but more than likely they did. And I'm pretty sure they did. And they cut it and they edited it where it makes um Kenya probably look like a damn fool. But you know, that's just how reality TV, you know, gets down. They pay you and you have to deliver the goods. Okay. However they get it, it don't matter, just as long as it's being public and we're watching it and we're running up their ratings. Okay. But anyway. It goes back to the article that says Mike goes on to reveal that he and Cynthia have their own problems and is going to therapy behind them. Now, who the hell going to go to therapy already? I mean, y'all said y'all was lovely. Everything was fine, even though some pictures were suspect. I can tell you because it looked like what, flowers in the attic or or. or Children on the corn. I mean, they, they they look right. Some of them pictures that her and Mike was in, it's like they were staged. It, it, it was like, it's no love there. I don't know. Maybe Cynthia just falls in love real fast and she just quickly just get into a uh, wifey mode. But girl, I'm like, turn off the car. Take the battery out of the car. Take the engine. Hell, y'all don't need to be going nowhere. You telling me if this is true, what I'm reading and I'm giving it out to you all, my viewers. Cynthia's going to therapy already, and she ain't even married, not one day, not one second, not one half a millisecond. Okay, we're going to go back to the arc and read it thoroughly. Mike goes on to reveal that he and Cynthia have their own problems and is going to therapy behind them. Mike states that a woman told Cynthia that he had a whole baby in North Carolina that he was rooming with someone in his California home. 
he claims they were all lies. Now I'm like, what the hell is going on in North Carolina? Peter's business being shut down, and then you telling me Mike going down on, on going down in, in North Carolina having a rendezvous? Is is Peter and, and, and Mike in cahoots to bring Cynthia Bailey down? What is going on out there in them streets? Okay, I don't understand. I need clarification, but let me go on back to this article. Okay, it says. Mike reveals that he and Cynthia will have their worst fight ever. And the Real Housewives of Atlanta cameras films it all. Everything is still no. All good. They are a work in progress and hope to get married towards the end of 2020. Now, wait a minute now. If y'all are so in love and y'all both old, what are you waiting for? For the new season to start back up, season 13? No, nah, we don't want to hear it. Because if y'all ain't married by January 1, and I'm giving you, I'm being very lenient. I'll give you to March. All right? If y'all ain't married in that time frame, hell no. Nah, y'all need to get married. But how I felt from the beginning when she was out there uh, pretty much begging you to marry her and Candy Birds was telling her to pump her brakes. You don't need to ask no man to marry you. If they want to marry you, they'll marry you. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Uh, I'm like, come on, Cynthia. This, this is too much. It's too much. All right. But moving back on to the article, it says Mike has big money. Wait a minute. Mike has big money making plans after they finally marry. He talks more about the homes, businesses, and TV deals than he does about settling down and living a married life. Hint, that's probably why he divorced the first time, okay? But I ain't looking into it that deep, all right? Because I already saw they didn't look right together. They don't, uh, the whole body chemistry is just not there. So I didn't really need nobody to give me more information, but I'm glad they pouring the tea so I can pretty much cancel him out, all right? Cynthia, you need to do better, okay, girl? And if you're going through any of this, and before we get to see it in November, Child, please, you should have been made a statement. Came out to the press and said, uh, 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 we ain't getting married. We ain't get, I made a, 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 agree, a, wait a minute, a egregious, egregious mistake. Yeah. I, I, I overstepped my uh, boundaries. I thought I was in love, but it wasn't that. Th it wasn't love. It was just me trying to be in love with being in love. Okay. That's what she should come out and say before Christmas. I would appreciate that, Cynthia. And I'm sure your mother would too. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, he says that they would live in both Atlanta and LA and they would get a home in New York too. He predicts to have a dynasty and great wealth. I'm like, honey, if he ain't got that great dynasty as it is right now in this time of 2019, October, well, I ain't October yet, but it will be. He ain't finna get it off me. I mean, Cynthia, you already let Peter, you know, bring your income level a little down and, and now I'm sure it has plentified itself back up. But you see what this man telling you? You bet. Want somebody to show you who they are? Don't give them a second chance to open up the door again, even wider. Okay? Because this man is going to bankrupt you with all his plans and his ideas. Because if he ain't no Fortune 500 force man right now, I, I, he ain't finna be one with me. I'm finna get all my money on my own. Okay? You already got Lake Bailey. You got all these definitely in, uh, safe investments. Okay? And you want to sit up there and, girl, please. Fuck. Oh off your brace. I need to come and kidnap you, girl. And I'm saying that allegedly. I'm just saying that allegedly. But they might do that uh, contract where they hide your... Well, you probably ain't gonna let them pick up no wedding uh, certificate for you. <laughs> so we see how that happened with Peter. Okay, so we, we just gonna scratch all that. Just, uh, just let me rewind. Rewind to get all that I just said in those two seconds. Okay? But going back to the article... It says he announces that Bravo will more than likely not be giving them a wedding special or even paying for the wedding. So he and Cynthia will be footing the bill and that takes money. So he and Cynthia are in the process of signing a deal to do their own dating show besides all the other uh, 50, well, 501, 11 businesses Cynthia has already got going on. Mike is going to work Cynthia harder than Peter. Oh, Lord, did you hear? That sounds like a pimp pimping out they pimp it, okay? But she ain't no pimp it. She just the, uh, the pro, okay? But uh, going on, it says, anyway, late in the video around the 26th uh, second mark, Mike 
says that he directs Cynthia on how to handle Nene. He wants her to handle her in a non-confrontational manner or way. He wants Cynthia to be seen as classy and not wanting a fight until she is backed in the corner and is forced to. And, and Mike says that he has seen a side of Cynthia that he didn't know exists. She isn't a punk. Well, I hope she turn all that energy back on your behind and get you straightened out and dismiss you accordingly because that's a hot mess if any and ever all this if any of this is true, all of this that I just read y'all, we all need to be in protest. Everybody need to be making videos on Mark Hill, Mike Hill, because he is just a scammer. He's an opportunist. If any of this is true, I know I'm going to be hard in my comments. And I'll be like, oh, I'm doing polls every day on that brother. Because if this is true, this is good information for Cynthia. And if she's trying to process it by going to a counselor, there's no counselor in the world. And this is why I'm going to tell you to suffer back through what Peter had put you through. Girl, are you crazy? And then you got your only daughter, young daughter at that, living with a man that is not her biological father or even, you're not even married to the man. So it's like she living in sin. Okay, we don't even know what that man may be doing to her. Okay, girl, Cynthia, you just gone down my nerve. And I'm just reading this. And, ooh, I'm about to go drink me a signal's cooler. Okay, but I just wanted to give y'all that information. Y'all digest it the way y'all can. Get in them comments. Y'all tell me what's what, what's what. Okay, what y'all feel about it? Because right now, y'all know what I feel about it. That's bullshit. Okay, we need to be calling CPS. Well, it uh, can't call CPS because she grown. I know. Mm. Okay, well. Well, I, I don't I don't know what we can do. Maybe y'all can tell me what y'all think we should do or what we should not do. But we definitely can get in them comments and dialogue about it because it's Mike Hill. He just uh uh he just too much. He is too much for the human race to be dealing with. He don't need to be marrying nobody. He need to be an el eligible bachelor or whatever he is at this point in time. That's probably why the first wife got rid of him. Okay, and don't want to be bothered with him at all. But, and probably why his own daughters is not living with him. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, all these are just rumors. They're just rumors. We can take it for a grain of salt. We can just take it for what it is. I just gave it to you all. So y'all can ponder on it. Case in fact, it does come out. At least you were told by Deb Chanel's 40s world, okay? So we can get geared up for this season. And maybe Cynthia will have a conniption or an epiphany to say, okay, no, I'm not going back down this road. This road seems a lot familiar. I've been down here before, kind of like deja vu. But y'all, like I said, through with the video, I just came across it on my feed. And I said, uh-uh, I'm not to do this video tonight. It can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> but y'all be blessed and I'll talk to y'all soon for something. You know that's how I do. I get straight to the point. All right. Good night, guys.